Okay, everybody, I ran a, a comparison load. Um, I went to Tyler, Texas two weekends in a row. One weekend I had a fifth wheel that weighed uh, 12,273 pounds, you can see here. And the next weekend I ran the same route and took a travel trailer at 6,110 pounds, so almost half the weight, about the same length. Um, so, so it's the fifth wheel paid a dollar eighty, same mileage, one thousand seventeen, obviously, and the travel trailer paid a dollar sixty-five. So my whole thing with this is, was to see if uh, there are any advantages of taking a smaller load in other words am I going to make more money because I'm saving on fuel do I really save on fuel etc etc so um, uh, the weekends were I, I left did the same thing left on uh, Saturday I picked it up on Saturday uh, left out from my house Sunday morning and went down and came back on Monday. This trip to Tyler, Texas is a three day, uh, one night for me because one of the nights I can stay here at my house. So, um, and I make it down there on Sundays and I get, drop it off on Monday mornings and I can make it all the way home mo Monday. So. Uh, same, similar for each. So, um, my pay uh, here for the uh, fifth wheel, the 12,273 pound, you can see uh, right here. Um, the payout for me was $1,701. Um, I, on this trip with the fifth wheel, uh, I ran about half the trip at about 9.4 miles per gallon. I got about halfway. The temperature right was got up enough that I could turn the heater off and uh, actually crack the windows. So um, it went from there, it went up to about 10.4. So. I used an average of 9.8 miles per gallon to figure out my uh, mileage uh, fuel cost for towing a vehicle, hauling a vehicle, hauling the camper, and then uh, the tow, the not hauling. I always use 16 because mine can vary either way. Um, it can go up. To 17 I've seen it up to 18 I've seen it down 14 something so I always just use 16 that's a good average so um, and four dollars and seventy cents when I do a run I if I fill up three times I just average the cost of fuel in this case it was four dollars and seventy cents I do the average just to find out what I made uh, after fuel costs uh, this is not a what I exactly made thing I know I get comments all the time about you're not putting this you're in there you're not putting that in there no I don't do that that comes out of every load so this just gives me a good indication of what I am making on the trip so um, and in this case it's a good for comparison so I made almost $900 on this trip. Now, the next weekend I took a lighter load. It only paid $1.65, where this one paid $1.80 a mile. So uh, my total payout was about $1,556 versus this $1,701. Now, the fuel average was 10.1 miles per gallon. Uh, so it increased by 0.3. I don't know that that's a significant enough amount for me. Um, 
the average fuel cost for this trip was four dollars and twenty six cents but in order for comparison sakes i used the same four dollars and seventy cents as though the fuel cost would be the same because i'm trying to figure out which one is better um, so in this case the total fuel cost was seven hundred and eighty six dollars versus the 802 so fuel costs were 20 what twenty dollars less and I only made 770 so it's a hundred and twenty dollars less uh, for hauling the smaller trailer camper so uh, this is good enough for me to seek out uh, the larger higher pay campers um, I'm not making a significant, I mean, the fuel mileage is similar a little bit more, uh, for the, the bigger unit, but it's not, I mean, it's, the pay outweighs that. So, um, <clears throat> now this isn't, wasn't a trip out West uh, up mountains and stuff. It could be different. But this is for me doing Texas runs, which is probably what I will be doing most of the time. Uh, the low boards are jammed full of, of south runs now, and and um, where I don't have to go out west and go up the mountains and be away from home that long. Uh, the Texas runs are easy for me. Usually it's only one night away. Uh, unless I have to go deep south Texas or way out east or west Texas, then it could add an additional night. But uh, now the total what I've made on this, when you go back and look at, I only had four dollars and twenty six cents actual. Um, I actually came out with eight hundred and forty five dollars on this load, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, because the fuel costs were uh, less on this trip. So um, I guess that's all. Uh, I wanted you guys to see this. For me, it may be different for you, for your truck. But for my truck, uh, I'll be pulling heavier load. I've got my CDL, so I can do CDL loads. Um, so I'm going to grab the heavier loads uh, that pay more if they pay more now you've got to watch that too because you could get in a situation to where and I've seen it where a lighter load pays just as much as hauling a heavier load and then you would definitely want to get the lighter load so if the pay is more for the heavier load I am going to pull heavier loads from now on so all right um i hope this helped someone if it did please like uh the videos and and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and you'll continue to get my content all right appreciate it guys talk to you later